What's up, everybody? It's the man with the plan, PK Blue Man. You like that freestyle right there? I'm a cunning linguist, just like the rap group, but they're underground, so I doubt most of you guys know that. Unless you're in the underground, in that case, you're awesome because most people listen to Kanye West and Lil Wayne, and that saddens me. But you like that? You like that new name of mine? That's I think that's a good one because all the other ones I knew, I was thinking of. Just made me sound like male porn stars, and I do not want to be a male porn star. Well, actually, no, off topic. So, this is a some Moab gameplay. This is my very first Moab. So, this is old, and this is also very boring because since it was my first one, I was desperate for one, and I stuck to the edges of the map, which is very boring. My newer ones, I actually do run around through the middle now, and it's much more exciting. But, this is some tips for you and if you want a Moab for most of you who haven't had one or are having trouble getting one and uh, first one I just talked about you want to stick to the edges of the map and that'll help you because rushing to the middle that's where oh look get raped kid get dropped because most people run to the middle and they die and you can pick them off when they spawn like I did with that guy here and you can also flank like these retards over here having a gay orgy back here or something but next you have to know where your teammates are and when your teammates die because when they die they always leave that white skull right there and if you want a moab most likely you're playing with a bunch of team members who die a lot so let's say one of them is guarding the tube here in dome that entrance we all know that tube and if that guy dies and his skull pops up, you need to be aware that that skull is there. Like that guy right there that just died. And you need to just take that opportunity and run over there and make sure that no one's going to shoot you in the back. Secondly, you need good... Well, I'd recommend specialists. You can use assault if you're daring. If you have balls. I didn't this video. I played it the safe way. But specialist is probably the best. Most of you know why. And uh, you also want to run a silencer. Silencers are big because going on silence, people know where you are all, pretty much at all times. And uh, unless you're taking the camping route, which I wouldn't recommend because I hate campers, but you know, get an unsilenced weapon, get a portable radar, all of that set up, kill someone, then they'll flock to you like birds of a feather because they flock together. And that move right there that you just saw that go through the tube and back. That might look might have looked stupid, but if I didn't do that, that sniper probably would have got me. You need a good, good sense of. Uh, you need to be able to take action and make quick decisions, and map control is something really good. You need to be able to know the spawns so you can know where they're at and well approximate where they're at and where they're faces. You also need something that can help you uh, during those one-on-one face-to-face -on -one -face gun battles because. If you're going for a Moab, chances are you're going to be flanking, you're going to be playing it dirty, and you're going to be getting people. So you need something for those face-to-face -face battles where people are all up in your face. They're all up in your grill, and it's a, just a 1v1 straight up. And for that, I do drop shotting. I know people think it's cheap, but I it saves my life. Or you can jump shot, you know, that halo jump, because I've been halo jumped a couple times, and I've halo jumped a couple times. and it really does give you an edge and look first one 360 look at that that was beautiful 360 no scope quick scope ladder saw around the arm through the hoop but that's pretty much the tips there isn't too much else I mean you want to pick up a good because if you're using the SMG you want to pick up a assault rifle for those long-range battles like I did with this scar unless you have the MP7 which is pretty much like the ACR from Modern Warfare 2. Especially if you put Rapid Fire. That thing is too damn beastly. Rapes. But, um, that's pretty much it. And, so yeah. Right here, I'm just taking out some. These guys kept on hit, uh, using those, what's it called? Attack inserts. And that got me about four or five kills. Because these idiots would place it down. I think they were split screening. And they'd place it down, die, spawn, get shot again. So that'd lead to about four free kills. So, so yeah. That's 
pretty much it. And hope these tips can get you a Moab. I think I went 38 and 1. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure. 35 and 1, something like that. And thanks for watching. Hopefully this can get you your guys' Moabs. Uh, peace.